All right, well, it has been far too long since the last time I did one of these vlogs, and I apologize for that. i uh, been working a lot and working a lot with Bruce in the USA out on the road uh, doing a bunch of shows. Looking forward to the show at the end of the month, March 24th, on Access TV. So be sure you join us. 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Access TV on your cable provider or satellite. It's going to be a great show. So thinking about lots and lots of different songs over the last few weeks and months, I really wanted to do one for this song here. And this is a song called The Fever. It's got a bit of history behind it, and to me it's just a fantastic R&B flavored song that Bruce did early on in his career and for some reason for being such a fantastic song he didn't release it for more than 25 years. Now fortunately we have it officially released in the fantastic studio version from 1973 as well as a live version from Houston, Texas in 78. So let me tell you a little bit more about the history of the song. The Fever, according to the 18 Tracks booklet, is recorded May 16, 1973, although the fact that many of the recording dates in the booklets for Tracks and 18 Tracks are incorrect, it's possible that the recording date may have been June 23, 1973. It was recorded at 914 Studios, although it was long rumored to have been recorded at WGOE Studios in Richmond, Virginia. This recording was made as a publishing demo for Laurel Canyon Music. The song was originally written in 1971. And this is a fact supported by a lyric sheet titled Fever for the Girl, which is dated and is on display at the Hard Rock Cafe in Sydney, Australia. The lyrics on this lyric sheet are an exact match with the recorded song. Vincent Lopez has also stated that there was a song written during the Bruce Springsteen band days, which he referred to as Fire, said that Bruce specifically wrote it for Dolores Holmes to sing. Although I don't know for sure that he is incorrect in this statement, I believe he was talking about this song, The Fever. Mike Appel, or Columbia officials, officially leaked copies of the song in tape form of this recording to many radio stations at the time. It was debuted live on March 10, 1974, in Houston, Texas, although it was performed the previous day at KLOL Radio in Houston in an acoustic version. Southside Johnny eventually cut a version of this song for his 1976 debut album, I Don't Want to Go Home. Bruce played the song with Southside Johnny at three guest appearances in 1976 and 1977, and finally revived the song on his own set July 15, 1978, in Houston, Texas, once again, where he played it often during August and December of 1978, and played for the last time January 1, 1979, the final show of the Darkness on the Edge of Town tour in Cleveland, Ohio. More than 25 years after its recording, Bruce finally releases a version in 1999 on 18 tracks. It's rehearsed during soundcheck on the reunion tour, but performed only one time on September 24th in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's also been covered by Dean Ford, the Pointer Sisters, and Alan Rich. From 2001 to 2005, it's played at many benefit shows. Again, it's placed in the set for one show during the Devils and Dust Tour, October 20th, 2005 in Worcester, Massachusetts. And one time on the Working on a Dream Tour, April 28, 2009 in Philadelphia. So I think most of us have probably heard the studio cut from 18 tracks quite a few times. So I am going to go to a live version, fantastic live recording, from December 31st, 1978, New Year's Eve. Bruce with the E Street Band in Cleveland, Ohio, 
live on the darkness on the edge of town tour. Here they are with the fever.
till I'm all in. It's just this long, 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 long and lonely nights. The long, 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 long and lonely nights. It's a long, 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 long and lonely nights. It's a long, 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 long time. It's been such a long. Sit up all night. I just sit up all night because, 'cause every time I close my eyes, all I see is her face. Every time I close my eyes, all I hear is her voice. Every time I shut my eyes, all I see is her face. Every time I shut my eyes. All I hear is her voice, and I can't stop myself from thinking. And I just, and I just can't stop myself from thinking. Baby, where are you tonight? Where are you tonight? Tell me where are you tonight? Baby, where are you tonight? Wonder who she's with tonight. I wonder who she's with tonight. I wonder who she's with tonight. Baby, where are you tonight?